Hello there. I will be showing you how to get better at Tower of Heck on mobile. If this helps, please subscribe. It'd mean the world to me. There will be three tips and three tricks. If you still need help after you watch this, comment and I'll answer. Alrighty, enjoy the video. Alright, let's begin with our tips and tricks. Tip one, don't get your hopes up. I am level 26, but I am, of course, not a pro yet. I'm not a beginner, but not a pro either. I'm neutral. Trust me, it's normal to fall or die in Tower of Heck. You can't expect that getting to level 20 means you're instantly a pro. Neither level 30, level 10, level 5, level 15, level 25, you know, <laughs> you need to practice and work hard. I remember when I was level 10, I thought that if I got to level 25, that I'd be the best. I'd be a pro. You just have to listen to some tips, find some tricks, shortcuts, watch some videos, just like the one you're watching right now. You get to like learn all these things on how to win, get better at the game, and just improve. Tip number two, don't rage quit. I know people say this a lot, but giving up gets you nowhere. Continue trying the tower. No matter how hard it is, this is just some practice, so you'll do better next time. You could be failing on this one stage. It is super hard for you, but you continue trying to beat it. You may or may not beat it, but you'll get better at it at least. I used to hate this one stage. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, it's like this spinny, uh, lime-ish, um, yellow stage, and, well, it was kind of just impossible for me. I practice it, and the next time I did it, it was easier. I continued practicing, and I now can beat it. It's not an 100% yet, but maybe an 82. I actually sometimes say that it is my favorite stage, but whenever I die on it, it's quite embarrassing saying that, oh, I really like this stage. It's such an amazing stage. <laughs> I'm a very awkward human being, so if I if you ever hear me do like, <laughs> it's just me trying to cover up the awkwardness of me, okay? <laughs> that should be a tip. Just don't be like me. Okay, no, but for real, you know, you don't want to, um, like, hide your true identity behind a screen and be like, oh, I'm not awkward at all, I'm super social. Just be yourself, honestly. Yeah, that's not a tip, okay? <laughs> tip number three. Don't listen to everyone. I'm guessing you're probably confused by this one. If you're failing on something or dying on something and someone says, you're so trash or you're not good at this game, just ignore them. Don't even bother to argue back. That'll place a bad image on you. If you're at the top and someone says that you can't speed, remember it's your choice. You can control yourself to do anything. If you want to listen to them, you can just go ahead and listen. If you want to speed, speed. Speeding actually gets your level higher. So, don't even think that it does nothing. Sometimes people say that. Like, as you can see in the gameplay I have right here, somebody sped it up. People might have maybe said that they can't speed it up, but they did anyways. If they get mad, just literally ignore them. This includes really any socialization in Tower of Heck. Trick number one. This isn't a tip, so don't think that somehow you accidentally skipped back in time. You didn't. This is a trick, not a tip. Try sometimes using the shift lock feature. You can obviously switch back and forth. On mobile, this is a feature in the corner of your screen. Since this is a mobile tip video, any PC players, unless they're using a touch screen, this video won't be very helpful. This is very strange that I'm telling you this now, but I am. <laughs> You can obviously switch back and forth from, you know, normal to the shift lock. <laughs> It'll be hard at times to use it. 
Trust me, you'll get better. It is easier um, for you to jump around blocks. When I began using shift lock a while ago, I couldn't climb truss slash ladder, sometimes due to the fact that my uh, camera was facing the truss slash ladder. It's a common mistake. Don't even be embarrassed by that. The camera angle moves your character. Jumping sideways is easy. I recommend actually doing jumps. Jumps and jump around jumps. Uh, with shift lock. Trick number two. Go at your own pace. What I mean is that you should not start at pro when you've just started the game. At least get to level five before trying it. You need to feel confident before you go to pro towers. You need to practice at noob towers a little. You'll start making progress. Don't be upset if your friend or someone you know beats pro towers before you or gets a higher level before you. Everyone starts at their own pace. Some people start slow, some fast. Keep your pace steady. You can't break that pace and just, just because your friend got past something, you suddenly have to be the best. Just go at your own pace, stay steady, stay calm. Yeah. Trick number three, don't be afraid to buy or ask for power-ups. If you want invincibility but you don't have enough, ask. If you do, go for it. If that's what you need to succeed, go ahead. If they say no, remember not to get mad or start screaming at them in the chat. They might not have enough or just don't want to spend their uh, in-game currency. They might be trying to save up for, for boxes too. Maybe they also think the tower is easy. There are so many possibilities. I hope I helped you get better at TOH. I'll be making a separate video of every shortcut I can find. Think about subscribing, maybe. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And Kitten Love Owl signing off.